This is the smallest breeding bird in North America. Ned and Gigi Batchelder are big into birding. This guy weighs just a little less than a penny. Originally from the Gulf Coast, they spent the past 15 years following hummingbirds, the last five in Montana, discovering here. more about them each and every day. People are most amazed by by the way they can fly. They, they are the only bird that can fly backwards or upside down. They're just fascinating creatures and you just learn so much when you get these birds in hand. Catching the birds requires a sturdy trap and a quick touch. We actually put the sugar water feeder inside the center of the trap, has an opening. The bird will actually come to the sugar water feeder and see the barrier of the trap. Um, he or she will actually seek out the opening and go in the trap and I close the door behind them. That's when Ned takes over. I'll measure the, the wing, age, the species. bill, and the uh, tail. That's just to verify sex, age, and species. Put the band on. If anybody ever catches or recaptures one of these birds or finds the bird, turns in the band number, then we immediately know uh, stuff like longevity, uh, breeding ranges, uh, where the bird was found. Birds are banded with tiny aluminum alloy bands Super weighing light. only six to seven milligrams so they can be root. tracked for their annual 1800 mile journey. It is hard for he we as humans to conceive that such a small bird can actually fly all the way to Mexico. There's a lot of hummingbirds in Montana. A lot more than what people think. For now, the trapping and the learning continues. The more we know about them, I think the better off for them and us. And we'll let her go.